Peace, y'all. What's good, man? It's your brother, God Science, up in here. Um, before I even get in, I want to say um, I, I took down a video probably a couple hours ago. It's actually a video that I posted with my music on the wrong channel. So, um, family, please forgive me for that. Um, even though someone heard it and, you know, gave me some props, I really appreciate it, brother. Um, it's on my other channel, which is called Sonic Boom. It's a... Uh, um, you know where I do my music and things like that. So if you like hip hop and you know, check it out, man. Anyway, let's get into this. And um, I wanted to make a quick video, and um, you can see the screen. Uh, Brother Sarnetta's up on the screen, and the reason why he's up on the screen is because I have I made probably three, four videos. All right, on when I first started hearing about Brother Polite being a scam artist. And I got a lot of fucking heat for that. Now, one of the main arguments that people use when you call out someone that's in the conscious community, you know, at the status of a polite or whatever, they would say, you see, there goes somebody. Why are you going in on another brother? Why are you tearing another brother down? I've heard this same you know, excuse if you want to call it. When I was watching a live stream that Sonetta was doing and he was getting asked about the Sonetta Awards. And this one brother was on the phone and he was talking about, us. you know, you started changing things and all this. And this is what he said. You know, why are you coming after me? Do white people do this when they come in, you know, when they doing their business and stuff? Do we have other brothers coming in? and trying to take them down and doing this. Now, I understand that to a point, but to the other side of it, and this is my perspective, um, that's bullshit. You see, let me tell everybody out there something about, you know, I might even be, uh, you know, get comments, you know, why are you going after Sonnet? Um, I'm not going after Sonnet. Why are you going after Polite? Why are you going after these brothers, man? These brothers trying to do something. This is another black person trying to take down another black person. You see the wise, the dirty wise, try to hide behind that. But the fact of the matter is, I expect more from y'all. Now, we talk a lot about, you know, people about the so-called white man. The white man is this and the white man is that. And don't get me wrong. On this channel, I do not throw all white people under the bus. I go by my experience. And I have met white people. I have met people of different colors that were good human beings. That just wasn't on that bullshit. But I'm not going to sit up here and lie and tell you. That ain't a lot of racist ass white people out there. Yes, they are. There's good and bad. I guess if you want to call it like that in every culture. But when it comes, when you call yourself a teacher, when you call yourself part, uh, you know, part of the conscious community, when you are a leader in the black community, especially in media, we expect more from you. I don't expect anything less from uh, a white person or any person that's racist or wicked minded and the scam Ponzi schemes, all these things. I expect that. But for someone like Polite, that supposedly rock with my yacht, a teacher, the, the, the young phenom, we expect more from y'all. So when we question you, don't use that. I'm not going after these brothers. I'm actually kind of sad to hear that shit about polite. You ever wanted to like someone <laughs> and this person does everything in the book for you not to like them and you start making up excuses for them? It's the same thing with polite. I've learned a lot from that brother. The brother's mad intelligent. He can raise up a lot of people in these communities. But he's a human being. He got caught up in the bling shit. 
like any of us could have. The problem is, you don't fess up to it. You switch it up with hate. Now, don't get me wrong. I know there's a lot of haters out here. Come on. We know there's people. You're going to always have haters. But in the midst of those haters, there's people that really looked up to you, that trusted you, and you took advantage of it. Now, Young Pharaoh been saying this. I don't agree with everything that brother does, especially when he the the thing with Islam. I didn't agree with the way he went about it, but on that polite shit, he was one thousand percent right with that. Now this comes to Sonetta. We've been hearing this shit for a while, and I made a video about it probably like a month ago. Cause Sonetta came out like a month or so ago. It was calling polite. Uh, this dude, you know, he's a he's a scam artist. He owed him, I think, ten thousand or something like that. I might have the amount wrong. And I was like, wow. Finally admitted. And then I say three, four, three weeks later, I see him doing an interview with Polite, and he's back with Polite. So I'm like, I made a video saying, like, hold up. I thought Polite was a crook. I thought Polite was robbing the people. Now you're sitting down with him? So what I'm trying to say is when you bring this up and Sonetta acts all surprised that people are asking a lot of questions about the Sonetta Award things, where their money is going to, people that's scared to even send money and question them. Don't get mad that oh because yes there is not a lot of trust in the black community when it comes to each other and this is one of the reasons why you have to go hard on the people that do this because it contaminates everybody else so let's say somebody comes out with a good cause and they need help from the people now we don't know what the hell to do we don't know who the hell to support now because from left to right, you people lying, people taking money, not using the money where they're supposed to go. So now you don't trust no one. So don't get mad, brother, when people ask you and give you the third degree. This is what was created. Now, surprisingly, I made a video probably like a year now about this brother as you can see his name Javen Bullets now peace my name is sorry about that Javen Bullets and I will leave I made a video about this brother and the reason I made it because I was seeing a lot of funny shit from since back then and this brother would go in on everybody except for Sarnetta and I thought he's being real biased to Sonetta. To the point, yes, I called him a dick rider. I'm like, dude, come on. You ain't seen this. Yeah, you know, you questioning everybody else, but you're not questioning Sonetta. But like I said, I was on vacation. And I just probably like three days ago saw a video of Javen Bullets calling out Sonetta. And I was like, wow. I can't believe it, y'all. I actually, I don't agree with everything this brother does, but I gained a lot of respect, more respect for him now because this is what I was talking about, bro. Now, to be fair, maybe he didn't know. As I, you know, watch this video, he claimed that he didn't know that the van and all these things were being were were scam was just trying to get money from the people, and I give him that, you know. But I made a video about this, and um, I'm impressed to see that he went and called us Sarnetta because this is the shit I was talking about, and it's sort of a uh, yeah, I'm in, in my little ego. Yeah, I was right. That's what I want to say. I was right. Because I got a lot of, you know, backlash for it. 
I even got blocked by some of these channels. And I didn't go in there disrespectful, trolling or anything like that. I got more shit to do than, than troll somebody and follow them 24-7. And But I, I was seeing all this shit. And the sad thing is, I saw a video that was put up by Polite in Hong Kong or some shit like that. And in the comments, people were still supporting him. People are still going to send this brother money. So I have to say, good for you. If you know Polite is stealing, if you see all this evidence and you still sell that, send that man some money, I ain't mad at Polite. Take that shit. You stupid. Because you still got people, well, if he took anything, why is he not people taking him to court? Why? For one, why the, why the hell he's not even in the U.S.? Or oh, he's sightseeing going in Hong Kong and Thailand and Bangkok and all these places. He's sightseeing. Look like me like you're running, bro. And then you flip this mind game shit about, oh, yeah, the conscious community, I'm, I'm, I'm retired. Nigga, you got retired, man. They kicked you up out of there. Because you contaminated some sh Now we don't trust anybody. And not, I'm not saying everybody in this community is scamming. I'm not saying I don't have the proof to say that Sarnetta is 100% scammer. But what I could say is it took a while for you to come up with this, bro. And it makes you look like Hey, psh, I'm cool with polite ones. I'm getting whatever I'm getting. But as soon as something goes wrong between me and him, oh, now nah, he's a he's a scammer when he always been one. And a lot of people was going after him. Sonetta, because why you ain't saying nothing? I know you. You are right. If it wasn't for your platform, polite wouldn't be where the hell he is, man. That's real. I never heard of polite until I started watching Sonetta. A lot of people. Shit, I never knew about the young Pharaoh until I started watching Sarnetta TV. I give that to him. He is the godfather of this. He laid down the blueprint for it. But my point is when people question you and ask you questions that you don't like, don't just pull it off as people trying to take you down. People just trying to come at you and they jealous. I don't give a shit what these people have. None of that shit what they have is going to do anything for me and my family. But what I'm saying is we, we expect more. I've seen you with the greats of like Bobby Hammett. You've been doing this since it was v, uh, VHS tapes, DVDs. And you are known in the, the media world in, this, in the black community. So we expect more from you, from these brothers. So don't use that shit that we oh we trying to take down. You can't do dirty shit and then hide behind well I'm black and no other black person could call me out because if they do they're taking down another brother. I mean please see what people forget these scammers and the people that's in the community that's doing that dirty shit. Some of us are really conscious. Some of us are really practicing the shit we learn. You can't pull some of certain shit over on certain people. Of course, you got the people that's looking for a savior outside themselves. You know, they want to prop these people up. Um, the young Pharaoh, you know, people who is in the young Pharaohism or the Sarnetism. <laughs> it's nothing wrong with learning from some people. You know, from somebody, it's nothing wrong from having a mentor and things like this. But when you make them a messiah, they're human beings too. I bet if Polite came clean and said, "Look, I got caught up in the money and I just got sucked in, man, and I gotta earn my earn my trust back with the people," and he started doing that for years, in a couple of years, people will forgive this brother. But when you play that game and try to put it off at it's, it's all haters. They ain't mad at my Bentley. They ain't mad at my Maybach and all this shit. Yeah, some people are. But not everybody. Not everybody. 
So to end the video, I don't want to make it too long. I just want to say that was all right. Sorry, but I was. Don't expect any apologies. <laughs> but this is the sad things that's going on in uh, this community and it needs to be cleaned up. We can't have this, man, because then when people come forward with positive, good movements, we're scared to support them. We're scared to go out 100 behind them because of all of, all of this shit. Anyway, that's all I have to say on this. Um, what you guys think. Um, you know, I, I really don't want to accuse Sonetta of being, you know, like I said, some people you, you want to like, I, I, I want to, I'm a person. I learned a lot from watching Sonetta. I don't like a lot of shit that goes on there, but I've learned a lot watching this channel. He's a person that I, that you want that personal me. I want to like, but it's always some shit here. And then, you know, that's a whole different video with the Sonetta awards. You know, and the accusations that's coming out. I mean, I saw a video by uh, by Javen Bullets, and it was just like, oh my god! And like he told on himself, and he like, please, every time you try to you know support these brothers, some some shit come up. So I just want to end the video here. Thank you guys for watching. And the moral of this whole thing is: don't search for a savior outside yourself. Look within. It's all about the work within. Because um, you don't know who the hell to trust these days, man. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed, um, you're not going to watch me every day, I guess. You can just subscribe and just put that, you know, subscription up with the rest of the channels that you don't watch. I really appreciate it. And, uh, you know, once again, thank you guys for watching. Sorry I took so long. Peace.